hello, it's Fish Fingers here again. And um haven't done a review in a while, so I thought I might do a police dog fan. As I haven't seen a Britchell review of this set yet. And yeah, you'll notice in the review I do not mention these two spare pieces which are a handcuff and a white clear slide piece. I do mention a handcuff but I do I don't mention this. And yeah. So I'm just gonna do a quick introduction. This set um cost twenty pounds, it's three hundred and thirteen pieces and I ordered it off Lego.com. So yeah, it is a cool set. I'd recommend buying it. I mean the price per piece count. Don't know how much exactly. You know, you can work that out. It's three hundred and thirteen pieces, twenty pounds. Work that out for yourselves because I'm lazy, I can't be bothered to do maths. I'm grabbing maths anyway, so I'll have to use the calculator, then you're going to have to wait, and then, yeah, you'll get bored. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you the manuals, because I won't show you those in the review. So I'm going to do a close-up of the manual. It's the first one, which you build the robber's car and the gold mine in. That's, this one's got all the adverts in. And the second one doesn't have any adverts in, it's slightly longer because it's for the big police dog van. I'll also show you the box. Huge box. I'll show you. Hang on. Just need to remove a few things. Oh, God. It's all falling apart. It's not good. Sorry about that. And the lamp, oh my god, the lamp is slightly blocking it, but it's nothing too important up there. Yeah, here is your box, Lego City 5 to 12, you would have to be a pretty talented 5 year old to build this. And set number 4441, why it has the set number there and on the top of the van, you'll see that in the review. It's a quick little scenario, the robbers, um, Breaking open the barricade on the gold mine. The policeman's trying to stop him. I'll show you the back. Actually, it'll probably be easier showing you like this. It says divide into subbottles for easy start. It is a lot easier with the bags. Definitely. And yeah, the scenarios or play feature bits. Here's him on his bike. Well, not bike, car, I don't know why I said bike. Here's him with his dog. There is his hay. There's a picture of him in the gold mine. He's captured him. Here's a picture of him arresting him. Here's a picture of him ready to go. And there's a picture of him driving off. So, yep. Now, on to the review. Hello, Fish Penguins here again. And I'm here. Today to do a review of the Lego City Police Dog Van. Okay, let's start with the minifigures. First up is the Forest Policeman. He's new, he is cool. He has a nice torso. Um, it's brown, it's got like a brown collared uh, shirt. He's got Sheriff Badge and his walkie talkie I think. Oh yes, that's something on that line, and he's got his belt there. Yeah, it's got back printing, the kind of lead for his walkie-talkie, and the back of his belt, and some creases. Very scruffy policeman. He has a cool hat. Um, I'm not sure if it's brand new, but it's new to me. You also get this hat in the Lego City. It's like, I've got the Lego City um, patrol car. Um comment if you want to see that review and here is the prisoner I've put handcuffs on him you do get some spares I'll show you the spares after the minifigs um yeah and it doesn't I know it doesn't make sense putting the crow behind when he's handcuffed but you know normal prisoner face but in the patrol car I think you might get slightly different and then I know the exclusive one the the off-road chase or whatever it's called it's got a different one. Here's the one with the over jacket on. The one that was introduced last year. 
And yeah, here's a bl the black beanie. Beanie hat. And, um, oh crap. Um, I've seen to have lost my spare pair of, of um, handcuffs, but they are there. Um, you get one of the white droid arms. A red, flat, all trans, transparent red flat piece. And a brownie red slanty piece. Okay, let's get on to the set. Okay, so um, here's the first part. It is the gold mine. That's a sticker. It's a cool sticker, but I don't know why it could actually say gold mine on it. Surely it would say, like, I have a company name or something on it. Yeah. It's like, hey, robbers, come robbers, gold mine. And you may really see the gold in between there. I'll show you that in more detail. You do get a gem. I decided to put it here. Um, here is this bit, it's like a bee's nest or wasp's nest or something. Or it might be something completely different, but my guess is it's wasp nest. Bee's nest. And here is the feature. You pull this up, and you do get the gold. It's the shiny gold, not the crappy ones from the parts of the Caribbean, the pearl non-shiny ones. There it is. Quite cool. You see, it shines. Sorry if the lighting is a bit dodgy. I'm using my table lamp, and I haven't used this camera before. So my sister, she's kindly let me use it. Um. Next is the robber's sports car. Well, it's a very nice color scheme. And yeah, I put that on there dodgy, just for, like effect. You know, he's a dodgy guy. We'd have a dodgy number plate. And you can't really see it, but it says SJ4441. I might have done some difference. Yeah, you can see that there. So I might turn this off, see if it's any better. Just bear with me, guys. Well, it's quite dark now, but... Yeah, I think I'll turn it back on. Sorry about that. There you go. Oh, you can see that now. From distance. Well, this camera doesn't have auto focus, it lied. Oh well. Yeah, it's got a spoiler. Spoiler racer. Yeah, yeah it's got top piece and that stuff. Nice grill piece here, and like the engine. And just put, you can just put the crowbar in there, you can put it wherever you want. And yeah, driving away there. And lastly, and the best part of the set, or the thing that makes up the set, is the police dog van. I'm glad they made this because the old police dog carrier, which I do have, but it's in my box somewhere in pieces. Um, it's a big improvement from that. So yeah, as you probably noticed, while there was a jump in the video, I did organise this. And yeah, here's this piece here, I don't know, I think it's like a reinforced barrier. So, if he crashes it won't damage the thing, I don't know, but you guys tell me. That's my guess. Blue studs, clear studs, lights here. It's kind of like the Chelsea colour scheme, like Chelsea Football Club. And, um, don't hate on this, but I hate Chelsea. So. It's a nice colour scheme. So yeah, feature here, actually no, before I show the feature, oh yeah, you saw that, but yeah, I'd like to show the feature, that's all the things in here are stickers that you see, none of it's printed, that's a bit gay, but you know, yeah, it's silly, what do you expect, here are the two police dogs, you do get two, which is great, more value for money, they got it that, the mini tennis net to separate them. Well, that's, what they, that's my interpretation of that piece. The dogs are cool. They're, they're the new ones from last year. They're, um... Sorry guys, um... I accidentally turned off the camera. So yeah. As I was saying, these are German Shepherds introduced last year. In the actual police dog fan. Or the old police dog carrier. 
or police K9 unit, I don't know. Something around that line. Oh, keeps falling over. Oh crap. Okay, it's cool. It's got the printed bit there on his face. And like the old dogs, which I didn't. Put the four four one on the top. Little signs that show, you know, the, the police dog unit. And um, this is cool at the back. It's nice to they still include this. It's a holding cell to transport him to jail. I'll put him in there quickly. I don't want to spend too much time on this bit. Can put him in there. Like so. Three. Yeah. That's mainly it for the set. It is a very cool set. I'll recommend buying it. So now it is on to the ratings. Don't know why I did the hand movements there, but anyway, on the ratings. So it's in the review, it's in the intro and all that stuff. Now it's time to rate this stuff. Okay, always. I'll go in age order, and for the young kids, like seven year olds, eight year olds, I'll give it a nine, because it's cool, it's cheap, not cheap, but good value, it's um, keep you occupied for hours if you're a younger child, and yeah, it's just cool, but I didn't give it a ten, because I just don't think there's enough play features to give it a 10. I mean, it is cool, you can make your own, but I mean, like, you know, really cool features. Not just lifting up stuff and getting stuff. You know, but yeah, but that's just my opinion. For the older kids, I'll give it an 8.5, just because it hasn't got the extra play value that it does for younger kids than older kids. Older kids is like my age, 13, 14. And yeah, and for the adults, I'll give it. Um, 7.5 because adults don't really play, but I think they'll like this and they'll probably like to collect this. I mean, anyone would like to collect sets, cool set. And if you're a fan of um, cars, well, I don't mean the movie cars, I mean, even if you're an A fold and you like kind of sports cars, any kind of cars, vans, even the gold mine's cool, it's a nice collector's item, then I still recommend it to adults. I mean, a play value. It's not, for the adults, it's not play value that makes a score, it's the collectability. And for the older kids, it's a bit of both. So, oh yeah, and also the you know the price point. It also helps the score, because it's a brilliant price point, but I've heard it's not the case in the US with the new city sets. Like, apparently, this set's like $35. And if this was £35, I wouldn't buy it, definitely not. But the twenty pound price price point it is. I mean, it's cheaper than the Raptor Chase which I have, which costs five pounds more and you don't get enough and as much pieces. So yeah, sorry if I've bored you, but this has been a review of the Lego City Police Dog Van. Okay. Bye guys.